welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have we got today? Rory, I'm going to show you multi-select. Ah. So I'm inside some code here. Let me show you a little bit about the problem here. Um, I've got some event handlers here uh, for mouse enter, mouse enter, enter and mouse leave. Um, here, if we just run the application here, you can see this. This is one I've. This is an application I've used before when I've talked about uh, Code Rush features. Um, the animation when I hover over the uh, the buttons just enlarges the button, and then when I leave, sure. it shrinks it back down. So we've seen that before in other <laughs> videos, how we built this code. Um, if I hit the tab key, tab to next reference, uh, you'll see that I go to it, but when I go to the mouse enter, the mouse leave is nowhere nearby. If I go tab sure. and get the mouse leave, it's also nowhere nearby. What we can do is if we've got code that kind of belongs together, maybe I've got a number of method calls uh, right next to each other, and I want those <laughs> methods all to be within close physical proximity of each other. Yep. Or in this example, I've got events, uh, and I want those events to be right next to each other. Um, the benefits are it makes the code easier to read. Um, it's fast and easy to do that with Code Rush. So um, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the tab key from here. When I hit that tab key using tab to next reference, we've already highlighted this in a previous feature of the week. But what it does is it drops a marker for me back at that initial starting point. And I can sure. get back to that just by hitting escape. So now I'm here in the method. I'm just going to go to the beginning of the method and I'm going to hit control alt enter. And that's going to do a smart select on the piece that I'm on. And so it's essentially by default going to get me the whole method. Then yep. I'm going to hit escape to get back up again. I'm going to move down arrow and I'm going to hit tab key to find this one. Go to the front of that, hit control alt enter again. Okay, and now with those pieces selected, you know what I think I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to try zooming out, see how far I can zoom out, see if we can get all of these on screen at once. Yeah, Wouldn't that go, be exciting? Yes. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Mike. So we can just about make out both of the pieces that you've marked, and if we just squint a little bit, the, the location of where you'd like them to be. Right, the carrot right here. Well, first I'm going to do, I'm going to hit cut, so control X. And there you can see we remove those two load pieces from those two so locations. We're simultaneously cutting from two locations at the same time. That's right. And I'm just going to, and you can see Visual Studio says, I don't know where these are. And now I'm just going to paste these in. And now I've moved them very effectively. Very nice. So when you cut those to the clipboard, they're basically being put as one on the clipboard uh, in the order that they already were, yes. but now placed next to each other on the clipboard. So it's as if you moved one next to the other first, then cut the pair, and now you're in the same kind of pseudo position, ready to paste. Right, exactly. If you forget that keystroke, you can just come in here into Code Rush Selection, and that's the one you're looking for, Control-Alt-Enter. Multi-Clear, by the way, just clears that multi-selection. So if I come down here and I hit Control-Alt-Enter here, and then I come down here, Control-Alt-Enter, and uh, I just uh, continue to go through finding the pieces I'm interested in, um, that sort of thing. When I'm ready to clear these out, I just hit Control Alt Backspace like that, and it gets rid of them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a nice sort of flow to that as well. You, you mark them in in pretty much any order you like, and and then you come and you say, okay, we're going to cut there and paste in again. So you could spend quite a bit of time if you wanted to narrowing down the specific pieces that you want. Okay, I want a piece from there, a piece from there, a piece from there. And then you could go back sort of between one of the others and grab another one. And now you've got a whole selection all ready to go. And now you perform your operation with a very clear visual of what's going to be removed. Yep. And that's it. Fantastic, Mark. Well, thank you very much. And I guess we'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.